Hey friends, I want to tell you about one of the deadliest diseases of our time. One of the deadliest diseases of our time. How this disease spreads and how to protect yourself. I want to talk about one of the deadliest diseases of our time. How this disease spreads and how to protect yourself. Over the last 24 months, <clears throat> I would say 18 months, over the last 18 months, many people have been devastated with, you know, information, experiences, loss, pain. People have been furloughed from jobs. People who have had loved ones to die. Ironically, during the pandemic, a lot of people's loved ones didn't just die from COVID-19. They died from other issues. People died from depression. They died from suicide, heart attack, stroke. I can't tell you how many people that I know personally who have had strokes, including my own family members, including pastors that I know have had strokes. Some of them have been young people. In fact, recently uh, I heard about a person was just had a heart attack, a young man, not even 60 years old, had a heart attack and died instantly. So what's the deadliest disease? And no, I'm not talking about COVID-19 right now. I'm not even talking about the CDC, anything like that. One of the deadliest diseases of our time is fear and anxiety. I don't think we have understood how devastating fear and anxiety have been on our bodies, on our lives, on our culture, on the people around us. Now, why, why am I even talking about this? Why am, I, why am I talking about this? Well, because it's very simple. They want you to be afraid. They want you to be afraid. They want you to be terrified. They want you to be anxious. They want you to be worried all the time. Have you ever wondered why when you turn on the news now, it's all bad? It's all bad. It's all bad. There's a, okay, well, we just heard about a flesh-eating virus. We just heard about a bacteria that can do this. We just heard about another strand, another this, another. And it keeps you in a perpetual state of anxiety. It keeps you in a perpetual state. That's what it's designed to do. And how are they doing? They're doing it through the media. The media is transmitting fear on steroids, high octane doses of fear to keep you anxious, to keep you afraid, to cause you to have what we call dis-ease. Dis-ease, disease, dis-ease, to constantly being a state of dis-ease. This is real. Look at Americans. Americans have been more stressed than they've ever been in their lives. They've been more worried about the future than they've ever been in their lives. They've been more afraid than they've ever been in their lives. And when, when I talk about media, I'm not just talking about television. I'm talking about social media as well. Social media as well. The perpetuating of anxiety. And here it is after, watch this. Not only that, but people, churches closed down. And where did people go to lay their burdens? They would go to the house of God. Not just watching it online, but physically going there because there's a release in the presence of God. There's things you can lay down. I'm not saying that you can't have that if you watch online, but it's not the same. Let's be honest. 
So the very place where people go to lay their burdens down is closed down. So people are carrying burdens that they that they should not be carrying. This is really deep. The stress, the stress, the fear, the anxiety. And here it is. God says to us in his word, Matthew 6, don't take any thought for your life. What you shall eat, what you shall drink, what you shall put on. Don't take any thought for that. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. Don't take any thought. Don't worry about anything. What do you mean don't worry? I got to worry about something. You don't have to worry about anything. You don't have to worry about anything. Why are you worried? Let it go. Come on, somebody. That's why the Bible says, forsake not the assembling of yourselves together as the habit of some is, but provoke one another to good works as you see the day approaching. That release, that, that, that letting go is what we need more than ever. Fear, anxiety, worry, stress are a disease in our culture and the enemy of our soul has propagated this fear. Pushing this, keeping you, you know what, this is going to happen, that's going to happen, this is going to happen. It, it, it doesn't even matter anymore. The Bible says God has not given us a spirit of fear. The Bible says that fear has torment. In other words, the enemy is tormenting people with fear. I'm telling you, most of the deaths that I experienced, that, that I, that I um, encountered in 2020, most of them, I'm not saying all of them, but most of them were not even people who were infected with COVID. Most of these people didn't have COVID. That I experience. I'm not saying globally. I don't have all those statistics, but I'm telling you, the people that I knew personally, most of them, most of the people who died did not die. That I knew personally did not die from COVID-19. They died from other issues. When's the last time you just worshipped God? When's the last time you just let it all go? Let all the fear go. Let all the anxiety go. Let all the worry go. Let all the anger go. Let all the frustration go. Let all the, come on, let it all go. Just say, Lord, I just trust you. When's the last time you that we release things? When's the last time we just got in the presence of God and said, Lord, I just want to thank you for your presence. Thank you for what you've done in my life. Thank you for what you continue to do. Thank you, Lord God, for your spirit, your, your presence. Here it is. When's the last time you went on the wall? Huh? When was the last time you went on a walk? Got your behind out that house and just went on a walk. Got a breath of fresh air. Look at this. Huh. Oh, and by the way, did you know that worrying is a sin? Did you know that doubt and unbelief is a sin? Beloved friends, I'm telling you, don't
allow yourself to be infected with fear, with anxiety. The prayer meeting should be the fullest meetings in the churches today. Worship. Come on, just worshiping God. Trusting him, thanking him for his goodness. Laying your burdens down. Lay your burdens down. Stop being afraid. Take a breath. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for thank you for life. Thank you for breath. Thank you for another opportunity. Fear. Anxiety. The silent killer. said take no thought for your life what you shall eat what you shall drink what you shall put on see the, here's the truth in the days ahead we're going to have to be a supernatural community of believers that really believe what we say we talk all this stuff God is good all the time do you believe that If you do, stop worrying, start worshiping.